Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will create an API to update car in Spring Boot. So let's get started. You can see the admin service. I'm going to create here a method. So the return type of the method that is a boolean and name of the method that is a update car. And in the argument, it will receive car ID that is the type of a log. And second, it will receive a car DTO. let's go to our admin service impl and here i'm going to implement this method and you can see the method so let's write here the functionality to update the car in database so in this method first of all we need to get a car from the repository so here i'm going to create an object of the car that is a optional car and here we need to call our repository dot find by id method and here we need to pass car id after that we need to check here that is the optional car is present then we need to move in the if block otherwise we will return here false so here i'm going to create an object of the car and it will be a existing car let me make it existing car and here we need to give optional car dot get and here i'm going to add another if condition where we will check car dto dot get image not is equals to null then we need to set existing car dot set image and we will get image from car dto dot get image dot get bytes let me add the exception to method signature we only need to set image when we have the image in the car DTO. Otherwise, we don't need to set the image. After that, we need to set here price and we will get price from car DTO or get price existing car dot set year and we will get year from car DTO dot get year existing car dot set type. And we will get type from car DTO dot get type existing car dot set description and we will get description from car DTO dot get description existing car dot set transmission and we will get transmission from car DTO dot get transmission existing car dot set color and we will get color from car dto dot get color existing car dot set name and we will get name from car dto dot get name existing car dot set brand and we will get brand from car dto dot get brand so after that we need to call here our car repository and the same method and here we need to give object that is existing car and after that we need to return here true and here i'm going to add else where we will return the false so let's go to our admin controller and let's create a method to call method from our admin service so here i'm going to create a method that is a public and the response entity i'm going to add here void and name of the method that is a update car first of all we need to get car id from the url so here i'm going to add annotation that is a at the rate path variable and the data type that is a long and the variable name that is a car id after that we need to get car dto so here i'm going to use annotation that is a at the rate model attribute and here we need to get car dto so in this method we need to call method from our admin service that is a update car and here we need to pass car id and second we need to pass here car dto let me add the exception to the method signature 
and here I'm going to create a variable that is a boolean success in this variable we need to save the response of this method so after that I'm going to add here the if condition where we will check if we receive a true then we need to return here response entity dot status that is a http status dot okay dot build in case we got false then we need to return here response entity dot status that is a http status dot not found dot build let me add here the try and move these three lines into the try block and here i'm going to add catch where we will catch exception and here we need to return response entity dot status that is a http status dot that request and dot build so on the top i'm going to add annotation that is a at the rate put mapping and the url of this api that is a slash r slash car id so with this we need to get an actual value of the car id so let's run the application and you can see application started in the next video we will call this api from angular i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye